that is that final day is the first day. We are going to take whatever it is that we did and we will shoot it. Um, some of you have been in my classes. I always do that regardless of what class it is. And I think for me it's good because I can then still pretend for next time I want to shoot the class. And for you guys it's good just to have a record of it. You know, I don't know when you're going to use that or whatever, but even if you don't show it to somebody, you will learn how to deal with the photo shoot at least partially. Uh, and the 60 point is for the retouching. So you're going to bring it back and retouch it. So it's not going to do that at all. And you do that in class, not at home. So I'll help you, I'll teach you certain things that you need to know and all that. Um, let's see. Okay, we got it. A is a and a star. So A is like awesome. B. Um, it's good. It's very good. Um, C. I mean, I'm not like into C's and D's, but if I feel that somebody's not doing their work like the way it should be, and it's not a B or it's not an A, then it is a C. Uh, I have given S. I always say that. I've given S. I give S. How do I give S? If people just don't, you know, fill up their numbers, basically. <laughs> And I have had students who just show up like three times or two times or four times or five times. And then they just never show up again, ever. And then they email me like two sessions before the end of class. Or, How can I make up for class? Well, you can. Um, no, no, no. And then they, they email Ken and they email to all the other students. <laughs> um, he didn't come to class. Now, the good thing about an F is that if somebody gets an F, they can take the class again. And so it gets deleted. But don't take my word for it. Just check it. Just because I don't want to have a something there. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. This is my first semester that I told you that. But if, you know, if people don't show up at all or they don't show up enough, and, so there are numbers. So the numbers, if you go and you check it against this one that says, you know, 9, 930 to 1000 is an A. You know, so if it's anything below 600 or 660, then it's an A. And it all adds up because I add the numbers. So that's just the way it works. Um, okay. And I used to call people and say, why am I coming to class? Let me help you. I don't do that anymore. I honestly, this is just for my life. I just go to class and I do online. So I'm like really, really, really busy. Like really busy. Uh, I prefer that I don't receive emails from you guys unless you have to. Then try to email it to me to my personal email, Serena at linsdesign.com, because sometimes I get overwhelmed and I don't have time to check my CSUN email. So if you have to email me, use that. But I, uh, I'm going to be here before class, after class. I'm happy to answer your questions and things you need. And okay, so the final exam is that retouching thing. You come to class, take pictures, and you clean it up and go home. Actually, I don't know, it's, it's in it. It's in it. So, um, so the final exam is from 8 to 10 p.m. on uh, Monday, May 13th. Maybe by then we can we can check and see what the schedules are tonight and maybe it's 6 o'clock or something. I don't know what you guys have, but you can check that. So they don't have to wait for the whole thing to come to class. So we take a look at the syllabus itself. Um, so the first week was closed. Today is the instruction, it's the introductions and course overview. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about employment categories. Um, we will do an exercise discussion about marketing questions and so forth. Um, so one thing that I want to highlight 
try is if you look at your uh, syllabus, where it says homework one assignment, like today it says we do homework one assignment, that means today I am assigning this homework. If it says homework one presentation, which is next week, that means you are presenting. Okay? That is when it's key. Presentation means it's key. Okay? Is that clear? And so, some of the assignments I'm going to assign early. For example, if you look at week four, homework three to five assignments, that means I'm giving you a heads up and saying these three homework assignments are similar to each other, they're like together as a group. So I'm giving you a heads up, you need to start thinking about it. You need to start working on it. It's not next week, it's not due next week, but you need to start working on it. So when you go to week five, it's not due yet. And then you go to week six, it's not due. But week seven, homework three is due. And week eight, homework four is due.